Hi guys, Rob here at Groove User again, and in this video I want to show you how to connect your custom domain name to your Groove Pages account so that when you build your uh, website in Groove Pages and uh, someone puts in your domain name, they come up with the website that you've just built. So we'll show you how to do that. Let's dive straight in. Hopefully you've already done the first video where you uh, enable SSL on your domain name with Cloudflare. If you haven't done that, check out the last video um, and just follow the steps through there. It's less than 10 minutes, won't take long. Um, but let's get into do this. So first thing we need to do, jump into Groove Pages and I'll create a, uh, a new site in here. And we'll just start with a, a basic um, one of the templates just so that you can see how it's going to work. So let's say you've got your website here, okay. And the first thing you do, you come up to the publish button. Now don't press the button, the main part, you press the little arrow next to it. And that gives you another window. And the part we need is down here, this, this box, where it says to publish to a custom domain, you must create a CNAME, a name, or alias record with your domain registrar pointed to, and it gives us host10.groovepages.com. Now, because we've used Cloudflare um, to give us our SSL, we're not actually gonna do it at the registrar, we're gonna do it in Cloudflare. And that's where a lot of people um, go wrong with this, is they're trying to do it back at their registrar when they've already changed their name servers to point to Cloudflare. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in here, it's really easy. First thing we'll do, while we've got this here, I'm going to highlight this host10.groovepages.com and I'm going to right click and copy so that I've got that in my clipboard because we're going to need that in a minute. Then we'll go over to Cloudflare and the same. make sure you're in the same account you've created for your domain that you've added your SSL to. If you haven't done it, like I said, go over the, the last video. Uh, log in. And then make sure that your um, if you've got more than one website in your Cloudflare account, select the one that you're using. So I'm going to click that there. And a couple of things we need to do. First one, we click on the DNS, which is the third tab from the top, uh, from the left at the top. Now you're probably going to have some sort of uh, record in here already. You may have, depending on if your domain name comes with uh, webmail or that sort of thing, you may have some other records in here in this list, or you may have nothing. If you've got a CNAME record, you need to go in and delete it. If we're going to uh, go in here and delete this, you need to click Edit on the right-hand side. That opens this window here, expands it out, and then down here, click Delete at the bottom left, and it will say, are you sure you want to delete it? And then click the red button and that's gone. Now we have no records in this one, no CNAME record. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add a CNAME record first. So we click Add Record here under DNS Management. Under Type, you click in here and there's a drop down menu and it's all uh, in alphabetical order. Click on CNAME and then we're going to put the at symbol and then in here in target we're going to right click and we're going to paste the host10.groovepages.com that we got from our uh, Groove Pages um, uh, site a minute ago so CNAME at and then the target we've pasted that in there click Save and that's done so what that means is that anytime someone types in your domain.com it's going to point over to host10.groovepages.com and in a minute I'll show you how to tie in that so that it will actually show your website. Now I'm going to add another one in here. Click add record, C name again and this time I'm going to type in www in the name and I'm going to in target I'm going to right click and paste the same again and I'm going to click save. And then what that's going to do is when anyone types www.thedomainname.com, it's going to send them to my Groove, uh, Groove Pages website. And also, if they leave off the www, it's going to still go to the same place. Uh, some people have had problems with this where people have just typed a uh, 
domain name without the www at the beginning and they're getting an error coming up on screen so this way um, overcomes that and lets you actually show your website on your domain name regardless of what anyone puts in so it actually works for both both C name records work so if someone types www or they don't and they leave that off the beginning your website will still display so that's done that's saved just a couple of things to check in Cloudflare while we're still here they should be set up anyway but we'll just click on the SSL uh, padlock fourth from the left at the top just make sure here that your encryption is on full so this one down here if it isn't it might be unflexible just click it um, sometimes you need to click it twice to get it onto full and that's all okay everything else is saved and the only other thing to check up here underneath you've got overview and then edge certificates click on that and just make sure that this always use HTTPS is on and that's all of that done over in Cloudflare now one more step we've got to go over to our groove pages again into our account and the last thing to if we want to say we've built our website now you want to publish it to your domain.com your own name you tick here publish on your domain you type in the domain name and you click publish and it doesn't take very long and you'll get a green box come in the bottom bottom right hand corner once that's done a few more seconds there we go content saved changes usually go live within a few minutes but may take longer um, just out of interest I'm gonna have a look and see if that works see if we're up and running sometimes you need to give it a few minutes or refresh hasn't come up yet there we go so this is the basic uh, template page There's, we haven't designed anything here but as you can see if I click on groove funnels um, this is the page I've just created and if I come here this is the website that we've just pointed our domain to and now when I put this in here that website comes up and the same applies whether or not I put the www if I take that off the beginning it still works um, and that's it so that was a really quick and easy video I um, hope you followed it hope you enjoyed it um, if you like the video feel free to like it on uh, down below or leave us some comments if you if there's anything you think we've, we're missing or you want to add something else let us know um, also if you haven't yet grabbed your free groove uh, groove funnels account and how to play with groove pages um, head over to grooveuser.com and you can grab that there there's also lots of uh, information over there on other products and some great bonuses as well on, on the other uh, the other groove funnels software so check that out as well in the next video we're going to be looking at how to start planning out a website uh, which you can build in groove pages so a couple of little steps i like to go through before i start building my site so come back for the next video and i'll see you there Thanks for watching.